Alright everyone, let's continue a little known series called Let's Bumble Through Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup as Zappy, the level 6 Draconian Wizard of Vermet. Alright, when we last left off Zappy, he just finished exploring dungeon level 3? No, he didn't. He just retreated up to dungeon level 3 from dungeon level 4. Anyway, let's continue exploring this level and hopefully not die. As we can see, he's hungry and... I've got no food in my backpack, aside from one permanent bread ration, which I don't want to eat just yet. Okay, hopefully this will not be Zappy's death episode, because... Ah, look. Here's another altar. A blue altar of Sifmuna. Let's read about Sifmuna. He's a law master and is a contemplative but powerful deity served by those who seek magical knowledge. So he's kind of similar to the god I'm already worshipping, although he's more of a peaceful, quiet, study bookish type of wizard deity instead of like a let's blow everything up kind of deity which is the one I'm worshipping. Yes, I'm a little bit more worried about annoying a deity of destruction than I am of one <laughs> who is peaceful in comparison. So let's just stick with um, Vermet as our religion of choice. Let's continue exploring this level and start identifying some of these potions we got. So we've got three smoky red potions. Let's figure out what the smoky red potions are. Potion of healing. That's awesome. Let's figure out what the normal red potion is. And it they're both potions of cure wounds, which is good. Alright, so over here we last encountered a bunch of... Knolls and yeah, so the aftermath of that fight is still over there. As usual, when something comes within range, let's pepper it with our magic darts. And that took care of him. Let's carefully go down here. Is there a corpse? Nope, there is no corpse down here. We've just got two lumpy yellow potions. So let's figure out what the lumpy yellow potions are. Refreshed was a potion of restore abilities. That's pretty good. I've been pretty lucky this adventure because I haven't found any potions which are detrimental to my health. Let's conjure flame here so the gnoll won't be able to chase us and then kill it with magic darts. Did it drop a corpse? Yes it did. Let's take the chance and eat the potentially bad flesh because I'm pretty hungry. Alright, just like our unidentified potions, we've got unidentified scrolls. So let's figure out what some of these scrolls do. We've got five scrolls labeled... Hoi... Hoi... Whatever. Nothing appears to happen, so whatever effect it had did not currently apply to me. Let's... Oh look, those were the only unidentified scrolls I had, so... Let's continue exploring dungeon level 4. I can't remember if there was, in fact, anything on this level which caused me to retreat. Uh, I would like to stay until level 7 because that's when... I oh, stay alive until level 7 because, as advertised before, that's the level where Zappy will mature. And he'll gain a colour, and upon gaining a colour, he'll gain a breath weapon. It's very exciting, and it's randomised, so... I don't know what it'll be, and there's no way of telling until... We've actually got it. Oh, bugger. Looks like we're in trouble. Yep, we're in trouble. So let's... Cast... Blink. And hope it teleports us somewhere handy. Not entirely, but... 
it's helping me get away a little bit from the knoll and the ants. Let's see if I, there's some way of retreating back up to the previous level. And there is, and it's down there. Or rather, it's down here. That's a much faster place. Ah, oh, come on. Let's hopefully retreat. The ant is going to follow me if he, if I'm right next to him. So let's just run back up. We've got potions of healing, so let's start using them. Let's blink away. Let's conjure a wall of flame here, and let's try to kill the ant. Perfect. Alright. Escaped a potentially lethal situation. That is awesome. Now we go back down and take care of this knoll. I'm not too worried about... Oh, jeez, I am. Okay, so let's quaff a potion of heal wounds. And... Come on, die. Hurry up and die. Die. Ha. Huh. Yep. He's dead now. He had a glowing halberd. Which is probably what was causing all that damage to me. Let's wait on the staircase and heal up our wounds and resume exploring. We are 45% of the way to the next level. Hmm. I'm kind of curious what's past the double doors up here. But I'll only open the doors when there's nothing left to explore on this level. Because as soon as I open those doors, something bad and horrible is going to jump out and attack us. And Zappy may not live. On the other hand, there might be not so tough monsters in there and cause a bit of experience. So let's open the door, but before we open the door, let's prepare the area. Okay, so if I put... A uh, wall of flame here and here. Then I can retreat. It was just a forest. There could be monsters in the forest, but. Hmm. Glowing hammers. I have no idea what this vault does. And it looks quite ominous, so how about we just retreat away from that? I don't feel very comfortable around that potentially lethal area. Since that's the majority of the level done, let's proceed down to the next level. Hopefully find something to kill. Right, that's the staircase I'm going to retreat to if I'm in trouble. There's an altar of Zin up there. Following our usual trend, we'll figure out what this does. Zin, the lawgiver, he's a god for those focused on inner strength, pure of body and soul, so refraining you have to refrain from unholy, evil, unclean, or chaotic magic. You can't eat intelligent beings flesh, such as orcs and to a lesser extent goblins and ogres. And you can't use mutations. Mutations are random effects which sometimes will affect your character, usually in a detrimental way. So let's try to avoid... oh, damn it. There's an ogre. Let's try our new tactic. Die. Ha 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 ha. We can take care of ogres now. We're also near starving, so let's pick up that snoot flesh and butcher it. He's also 80% of the way to the next level, which is awesome. He may live to adulthood yet. Come on, Zappy, we're all rooting for you. Or rather, I'm rooting for you, and perhaps the one person who's watching this, you know who you are. Um... Another purple potion, so we'll figure out what purple potions do. Potion of magic, and that was it. 
just picked up another bread ration, which is good because I'm hungry and food is starting to get scarce. Sling down there. Ah, there's going to be some horrible monster on this level. I just want it to come out while I'm near the staircase. I bet it's going to be a centaur. Those bastards always giving me jip. Yeah. A blowgun and five poison needles. I'm not proficient in using it, but I won't say no to a ranged weapon I can use to harrow my enemies. So let's wield our blowgun. And get ready to sh um, shoot poison into an enemy. That's assuming my magic points run out. Alright. Got to be very careful on this level. Most of it is just rats and monsters and stuff, but that won't always be the case. And I can bet that some horrible monster is going to jump out at me sometime soon. And I want to be ready for them. Let's wield our spear again. I think I'm actually a little bit more proficient in using spears than I am with um, blowguns. Alright, fire magic's almost at level 2 and hopefully that'll increase our chances of casting a more complicated fire spell because I'm getting so an imp. Let's try to murder the imp. Yes, well done Zappy. He's also 95 of the percent of the way to the next level, so please don't die, Zappy. We all want to see what your colour is. Or rather, me and my one guy who likes watching my videos. Thank you for watching my videos, by the way. You make this all worthwhile. Alright, there's another staircase up, so I can use that as a retreating point. Um... Wish I ran into something a little bit tougher than a kobold, but so I could get a bit more. Ooh, there's a wand down here. Oh bugger! There's a there's a worm. Let's pick up the wands. Let's zap the worm. Let's throw up a wall of flame. Let's. Oh, he just walked straight through it. And he suffered the damage for walking straight through it. <laughs> Stupid worm. What the hell was he thinking? Orcs. Yes! We have reached level 7. And Zappy's colour for adulthood is... Green. It turns out Zappy is a green dragon. Let's figure it out. So... He can now breathe blasts of Noxus fumes. <sighs> Noxious fumes. His lucid green scales are hard, and he's resistant to poisons. That seems pretty handy. Since he's just discovered that he's a green dragon, he also has a slight affinity shift to his abilities. Let's see if any of those affinities have any effect. Nope. Aptitudes have remained the same. So... That's not too bad. Let's try out our new ability. Since we can breathe acid or fumes now, let's try breathing fumes. So if we press the A button, we can use an innate ability. So let's breathe Noxus fumes at the orc over there. He's engulfed in fumes and he's confused, so now we can just kill him. That was kind of handy. Oh yes, when I use um, my breath weapon, I momentarily lose the ability to use it again, and I can't breathe my breath weapon until I get my breath back. Glowing orcish gauntlets, it's in grey, I can't wear it. Draconians have unusually shaped hands, and most gauntlets are not shaped to be used by draconians. Let's eat some of this flesh and butcher this worm corpse as well. We're carrying quite a lot of meat, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Kill the goblin. So close to gaining a level in fire magic as well. Once I gain a level in fire magic, I'm going to go see if it'd be beneficial to learn a new spell 
preferably one from the fire school because the only spell um, which is training my fire magic at the moment is my wall of fire. Oh, a ruined robe, which is a lot better than my existing robe, which is a plus zero robe. Let's pick it up. Let's read our scroll of identify to figure out what this robe is. I don't want to equip a cursed robe. And let's read the ruined robe. It's a cursed minus one robe. Good thing I figured out what it was, otherwise I'd feel pretty stupid putting it on. Die bats. Oh look, I've also, we've also gained some favour with um, Vermet. So, since we've killed a whole bunch of monsters, he's noticed our presence and we've got a title. The Scholar of Destruction. The granted powers I gain is magical power from killing. So, if I kill stuff... So I, if I kill monsters with spells, I get magical power. That's awesome. It's really handy. And... Oh... The centaur. The centaur. Okay. Zappy, this might be your end, but let's do our best. Let's cast repel missiles. Alright, and now let's try to... Blink away. Or rather, let's throw darts. Die, Centaur. Die, please. Yeah, thank goodness. They're a dangerous enemy. They move really fast and wield ranged weapons. And since they move so fast, they can get off a lot of ranged attacks before I even have a chance to retaliate. If you're unprepared to fight them, they spell certain doom. That's not very good. We don't want certain doom. Um, almost finished exploring this level. Let's eat one of our chunks of flesh now that we're hungry. Okay, now let's evoke this long brass wand which we picked up. Evoking it should identify it if it's a beam weapon. Nah. No, as a matter of fact, I will not evoke it at the moment. I'll wait until I see a monster and then use its effect on that. Let's butcher these corpses and end the video. We had just finished exploring dungeon level 5. Zappy got to level 7. He matured into a green dragon and now we're going to descend down into dungeon level six we just passed the first branch of the dungeon which is the sewer so it's more than likely the second branch we come up to will be the orc caves look forward to it i surely won't anyway thanks for watching and goodbye